Holly Roseman does another clutch move, re-signing Nigel Bradham, $40 million deal, five-year contract. This was pivotal to keep Nigel Bradham because, to me, Nigel Bradham was the most consistent defensive player that the Eagles had week in and week out. This guy brought his A game every week. That's not to say the other defensive players didn't play well, but I thought Nigel was the most consistent out of all of them. He played well every week. His best game was against the Carolina Panthers. He was so disruptive, making plays. I, I, I thought it was, like I said in the beginning, pivotal to keep him, and they did it. They kept Nigel Bradham. Because he's the most consistent defensive player they got. Um, this was huge. Uh, Nigel Bradham and Jordan Hicks to me are gonna is a fantastic uh, tandem. But Jordan Hicks has to stay healthy, and hopefully he can stay healthy this year because Nigel is excellent against the run and excellent against the pass. He's a three-down linebacker, and those guys are rare. And if you got an opportunity to keep them, keep them. And Howie Roseman, Joe Douglas pulled it out and they got a deal done to keep uh, Nigel Bradham. They, they, they got it done at, <laughs> at, at at free agency. So this is a clutch move by Howie Roseman and Joe Douglas. They, the Eagles are basically sending a message that they want to win a second championship. Like, like uh, Doug Peterson said, let's make this a norm. Now, what does this mean for uh, Patrick Robertson? Um, I think they can still keep Patrick Robertson um, with Nigel Bradham, uh, with uh, Nigel Bradham getting his new deal, if they trade Michael Kendricks, because the Eagles won't be able to keep both of those linebackers, Bradham and uh, well, they they're gonna keep uh, Bradham, but they won't be able to keep that salary for uh, Michael Kendricks at seven point six million. Uh, I think they're gonna trade him, try to get uh, some compensation, maybe a fifth or even a fourth would be asked uh, applied too high maybe a fifth or a sixth round pick or maybe a low round pick like a, a sixth or a seventh to in, in a player maybe they'll try to get a wide receiver with that trade I don't know I'm just giving out speculation what they could do with uh, Michael Kendricks but I don't think he's going to be an eagle uh, by the uh, start of next season and um and I think they they want to keep Patrick Robertson more so than have Michael Kendricks because Patrick Robertson, another guy you could argue was just as consistent as Nigel Bradham and I wouldn't uh, debate you on that because he was excellent throughout the season. Uh, he probably had his best game against Minnesota um, and Dallas as well. I mean, this guy was good all year long Patrick Robertson and I think they want to keep them and they realize how important he is because your your nickel corner is basically your starting your base starting defense now it's not the fossil age of the NFL where it's just the 4-3 and you've got your starting three linebackers because the, uh, the world linebacker is not on the field as much because of the way the league has evolved into a passing league so I think uh, I think there's a real good chance uh, Kendricks gets traded and they re-sign uh, Patrick Robertson and I think Patrick Robertson likes it here and I think he wants to stay in the system he was very uh, I think he I think he really likes playing uh, under J Jim Schwartz's system so let me know in the comment section what do you think about this move because I think it's huge it solidifies the Eagles want to go for a second Super Bowl